So as a guy with a smaller wrist, it can be quite difficult to find diver watches that will actually be suitable for my wrist size. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at affordable diver watches for smaller wrists. Okay guys, so for the criteria here, essentially just looking for diver watches under $1,000, case size less than 40 millimeters. That is essentially what we're looking for here. I know there's other things to think about when you're thinking about uh, just how a watch will wear on your wrist, the thickness, lug to lug, uh, but that's just the central criteria here for today. So to start off our list, we have a watch that certainly has quite a following in terms of having a cult-like following in the watch community. You know, we hear a lot about Seiko having an incredible following but these watches certainly have very close to it for those that do love them. And the brand I'm alluding to is Vostok with their Amphibian Classic 420916. So Vostok, again, just a brand that has been really beloved by so many, and I think it really comes down to being very robust and just no-nonsense divers for affordable prices. This particular one, though, I think is very unique for a few reasons, one being the case size. So price here, we're looking at 80 to $85, case size of 39 millimeters, case thickness, we're looking at 12 millimeters, movement here, we're looking at a caliber 2415, water resistance of 200 meters, and has an acrylic crystal. And very similar to a lot of Seiko designs, especially like the SKX, there's a lot of modding and regulating that can go with these watches. So you can get a lot more bang for your buck if you wanna customize it. These of course are going to be a little more funky of watches, not gonna be uh, conservative by any means, but they get the job done and for the price and worth they lie, uh, I think that's why they're so beloved. Okay, so lately I've been rocking my Junghans Max Bill Chronoscope on this two-piece mesh. I'm really liking it. I've been going back and forth between this and like a rally strap, different perforated rally straps on my store. Been enjoying them a lot. I don't know what, what look you guys like a little bit more. And again, if you guys haven't been to tabalser.com, I know you have all these ridiculous ads that I'm throwing out, but seriously, I've been trying to build the best watch strap store on the internet. I think we're on our way and we really have an amazing inventory from everything from affordable, just NATO straps running at $10, working our way to our Teddy original line, work directly with our manufacturer in France. I think I have not tried better straps for the money in which they reside. Uh, so really proud of those, working all the way up to luxury, premium genre so straps. So if you want the best of the best, we have that all available. Hundreds and hundreds of watch straps are now available on our store. So you guys can go check that out. And also, I have a promo code for today. Use small divers at checkout to get a discount. I don't know how long that's gonna be active for, so get it while you can. Okay, so I wanna make this one pretty quick because I think I'm just so exhausted mentioning these watches, but I think they're certainly worthy of being mentioned. That's the Seiko SKX-013, and that watch comes in priced at $200 to $300, case size 38 millimeters, so the smaller size variant of the SKX family. Case thickness 13.1, movement is a Seiko Caliber 7S26, water resistance of 200 meters, and has a Hardlex crystal. Diver certified, so beloved, has been really just a, a watch that so many people have gravitated towards, and I know it's been kind of the gateway for so many people to get into the hobby. And the one problem with Seiko divers is the fact they're just so large. Uh, so for small wrist guys, Seiko is really not a great way to go for divers, but another one I think to consider, it will have a little bit larger form factor, but I think you can still make it work with the Seiko Mini Turtles. I love this, just the styling of the turtle collection overall. I think they're my favorite looking Seiko divers. Uh, the only problem is when you go for the full size version, we're looking at 40, 45 millimeters, uh, but the Mini Turtles, a little bit smaller, uh, going about 42 and a half uh, millimeters, but that lug-to-lug -lug, uh, distance is going to certainly make it a little bit more wearable. Again, larger case size here, so it is going to wear larger than the SKX-013, but I have been kind of just mentioning these a little bit more because I just like the design a little bit more, as well as I think them being a little bit more uh, suitable for smaller wrists compared to a lot of Seiko divers. Okay, so next up we have a micro brand based in New York City. I've mentioned in my cool micro brand series. If you've not seen that series, uh, definitely check those out. Probably some of my favorite videos that I've done on the channel and I think just uh, offering up some more obscure watch brands that are just kind of starting up. So Laurier, micro brand based in New York City, just owned by a husband and wife, Lorenzo and Lauren Ortega. Uh, the brand has gained quite a bit of attention from watch enthusiasts. I think it really just comes down to that vintage style design. And these watches here, we're looking at the Lori Hydra. So they came out with the Neptune last year, got a lot of love. So we're getting case size here, 39 millimeters, case thickness, 12 millimeters. Movement is a Seiko Caliber NH35A, price $399, water resistance of 200 meters. And then crystal here is a plexiglass crystal. So this watch certainly has more of a vintage oriented design, uh, which probably has been a little bit overdone at this point by a lot of just brands in general, especially micro brands, but I get it. I mean, they're catering to watches that maybe aren't 
being in production anymore. And I think this watch right here does a really good job. Uh, availability for these things kind of fluctuate a little bit. I think with a lot of these micro brands, they, they're constantly out of stock, so it's a little bit tough. But as of making this video, it looks like they are in stock. So the discussion around homage watches or homage watches has been talked about quite a bit on my channel. I mentioned in a couple of videos and kind of went in more of a deep dive about my thoughts on them. Personally, I don't necessarily think they're for me, but I know there's so much appreciation. And I think they do offer up something uh, for people that maybe can't cough off the cash for a very affordable design uh, and getting something that they can really enjoy. But I think for this particular watch we're gonna be looking at here, you can even make more of the case why this might be uh, even more accepted, even by the biggest attractors of homage watches, just because of the overall design, uh, catering to a design that was uh, really just now being uh, found in vintage timepieces by a very expensive Rolex watch uh, with the Rolex mill sub. And this watch here we have is the Steinhardt Ocean Vintage Military 39. So this watch comes in with a price of $450 to $500, case size of 39 millimeters, thickness of 13 millimeters, movement is an ETA 2824, water resistance of 300 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. We're looking at 47 millimeters lug to lug, so I think that's a very wearable size overall. I think 39 millimeters is a great size for a sports watch or a diver watch. There's a 42 millimeter option available as well, um, but I think these are one of the Steinhardt designs uh, coming off this uh, Rolex mill sub uh, overall aesthetic, uh, and now not being produced, and of course having prices that are just ridiculous might be a good alternative. So the next watch here is from a micro brand as well. Uh, definitely vintage inspired, a brand that I've mentioned in the past. This is a follow-up design to their very successful by Compacts, and the watch here is the Baltic Aquascape. Price here, we're looking at $650 to around $750. Case size of 39 millimeters, case thickness of 12 millimeters. Movement is a Miyota 9039 water resistance of 200 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. So it comes in three different colorways, blue gilt, black silver, and black cream. So based in France, you have Super Luminova on the dial and the bezel, and provides pretty good legibility. I have a beads of rice bracelet, which I think looks really good with this retro style. One thing I will say, you're getting a Miyota movement, not necessarily a bad movement, but I think there will be some detractors here in terms of just the movement for the price. Uh, so I think this is just a very good looking watch. I think you're probably purchasing more on that element and that side of things. Uh, however, I think Baltic is doing a really good job in terms of just the entire landscape of micro brands and del delivering something that I think a lot of people are looking for and maybe isn't being delivered by the major brands. Now next up we have another, I'd say micro brand as well with the Helsin Shark Diver 38 Titanium. So these watches come in with a price range of $650 to around $700. Case size of 38 millimeters, you have many different dial variants that you can choose from here. Case thickness, we're looking at 11.4 millimeters. Movement is a Miyota caliber 9015. Water resistance of 300 meters and has a sapphire crystal. So overall, I know many people prefer kind of the heftiness for their diver watches, but I think with this titanium case, the emphasis on being a little bit lighter weight and then also just wearing a little bit small on the wrist with that 38 millimeter case diameter. I think this will be a great option for those with smaller wrists. Again, you have multiple different dial colors, uh, bezel insert colors, as well as different case finishings that you can choose from and different strap options. But when looking at the entire landscape of divers under $1,000, finding many titanium watches available, I think is certainly a small list. So interesting mention here. Okay, so next up we have a brand that I think creates some of the most rugged, durable watches on the market, and that is Marathon. But Marathon watches overall, I think they do wear rather large. But this particular model that we have here, the Marathon Search and Rescue Medium Divers Automatic, does come with a definitely a smaller form factor, which is very pleasing to me. Price here, $850 and $970. Case, 36 millimeters. Case thickness of 13 millimeters. Movement is a Salita SW200. Water resistance of 300 meters. Has a sapphire crystal. This also comes with ISO 6425 uh, standard certification. You have option between a bracelet and a rubber strap, so that will be the main fluctuation in price. All these are assembled in Switzerland. You have tritium gas tubes on the hour markers. And I think all this comes together to really go into what Marathon is looking to do with a lot of their watches. I think well-constructed, can take a beating, and very legible diver watches. All right, so next up we have a French brand, a brand that has roots back to 1948 with the Yema Superman Heritage. So these watches come in around $850 to just under $1,100. Case size of 39 millimeters, thickness of 14 millimeters, movement is an ETA 28242, water resistance of 300 meters, and you have the option here for just a bit of customization, mineral crystal or sapphire crystal. So the original Superman was released back in the 1970s, and this particular model pays tribute to this model. The other interesting thing about these watch, they were actually used by French Air Force pilots during the 1970s. Uh, so pretty interesting. There are uh, some interesting design traits as well, vintage inspired, like 
few of the watches on this list. I like just the kind of trend with that. And then also the matching it with the actual case sizes, staying true to a lot of this here. And just looking at this, you have a lot of just those cues that stay true to that design from many years ago. And now for the final watch on our list, we have the Christopher Ward C60 Trident Pro 600. So these watches come in with a price of $910. Case size 38 millimeters, thickness of 12.7 millimeters, movement is Slita SW200, water resistance 600 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. So a new generation of the MK3 of the C60 Trident Pro 600 recently got released and comes in multiple different colorways and different strap options. Uh, this particular model has that signature Trident counterbalance on the second hand, comes with a stainless steel bracelet, micro adjustable ratchet clasp, and quick release system. And Christopher Ward, a UK based brand, who really just seems to be uh, very online oriented, going direct to consumer with that model, selling through their website, not really having any authorized dealer structure, which I think does probably help them in a lot of areas in terms of really competing in that value for money space. All right guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon. That's a big way to help. Really, really appreciate when I see those likes. Also, if you want me to maybe do like a larger wrist uh, video, I haven't thought about doing that just because I have such smaller wrists, but I know there's a lot of people out there that like larger watches, you can absolutely do that. In addition, go to our website again, teddyballstar.com, have amazing selection of watch straps, and then also hit the link in the description if you wanna buy an iconic watch for yourself, help out the channel as well, go to Bob's Watches, partner of the channel, and one of the largest online retailers for watches that you can find on the internet. So guys, thank you again so much for watching, be well, and I will see you all very soon.